So I'm going to put the aircon pump on now before fitting it back into the Land Rover. Now, I need to replace the belt for a longer one. And I also need to replace this pulley, which I've got here with the kit. Uh, it just sticks out a little bit further, really. Uh, and I do believe it goes there. I shall check that because I'm not sure. So, all I need to do, <clears throat> you don't need to take the fan off to get the belt off. I can't. Still, oh, it's only a 3 8 drive on the tensioner. Release the tension from the belt, take the tensioner off, and it will it will slide out. That's the tension released. Now the belt does actually go behind the tensioner, and that's why you've got to take it off. 15 mil. Tensioner out. Remember the routine of the belt. Right. That's one. So you can see here the difference between the old belt and the aircon belt is much longer. So what we'll do now, offer the pump up. Now the wiring, the, the wiring loom is quite tight around these. Right way up. Yeah. So then goes and plugs into there. So one of the bolts has got a bit of thread on the end, and that holds the cover on. Uh, come on. So that's going to be right bolt out there. That one can go in there. Started. Right up. That one started. That one started. That's one there. Ah, you can see the difference now. <clears throat> so the pump actually sticks out slightly more than this idle pulley here, which is probably why there's no lip on the new pulley. <clears throat> That's where the old pulley went, and I'm guessing that is where the new pulley is going to go, because when you put the cover on, that bolts to there, that bolts to there, and that bolts to there, and that pulley will run. So there's only one more place for it, and that's there. That's on. Right, so the belt. Goes around the crankshaft. Like then now the tensioner. There's a gap. 
jack. So you've got two lugs on the tensioner, that needs to go in there. So you slide the belt up and then place the tensioner in. Sorted. Just nip that up. That's that bit. That then goes around there. Obviously, the idle pulley <coughs> goes over the top. So. So then we release the tension. I'll just pull, push it on that idler a bit more. Right around here, yeah. Another water pump. It's on the crouch shaft. It's on the alternator. And it's on the tensioner. And strain it up a little bit. fine on the tensioner and that's it Cover on. Let's take the bolt out of there, 10 mil. And a little 10 mil there. Right. And that's it. Right, so I can't really put any pipes on the back of the pump yet. Uh, it'd be better to be fitted into the Land Rover first and then onto the onto the engine rather than the other way around. Uh, just ease, ease the fit in the engine really. The next job is do the spigot bearing. So I'll need the engine off the stand, back onto the floor, and we'll, uh, we'll have a crack at that. 